Hey guys, so if you are taking the ABO OSCE, this is something that is essential to know. This is from the article titled The Guidelines for Assessing the Growth and Development of Orthodontic Patients. It's the article by Dr. Bushing, and it describes the normal average growth and development of the skeletal and the dental changes. So as you can see, there's a lot of numbers to memorize, and it's almost impossible to memorize this from, a, from one glance. So I'm going to turn these into more memorable words and pictures so that we can all remember what they are. So when there's a lot of numbers that I need to memorize, I usually just turn to the mnemonic major system, and this is basically a series of digits that are turned into letters. And so... It actually helps you memorize the numbers. So I'm just gonna go through these. Zero is like S because zero is like zero, which kind of has an S sound, or in Spanish it's like cero with more of an S sound. So zero is S. One is T. One kind of looks like a T already. So one, it's long and skinny. T is also long and skinny. It's kind of like turned upside down. So there's a T there, there's a T there. All right, two looks like an N, but sideways. So two, and here's the two. So that's an N. Three is an M, because it looks like M, but sideways. So three and three. Four is four because it's the end of four. You can also argue that four kind of looks like R as well if you... It's kind of like mirror images, almost. They both have a head. Five is like an L. This is probably a little bit... Probably the most challenging one to remember, but just uh, the Roman numeral for five is L. And you see this a lot in... Uh, you know, like the football, Super Bowls, Roman numerals. <laughs> and then the six stands for like a J. So six kind of looks like a mirror image of J, but without the beer belly. So J, six is looking into a mirror and seeing itself with good posture and no beer belly. All right. And then seven is kind of like a K. I mean, it can be any of these sounds, but I'm going to choose K because I'm Korean and I like the word, the letter K. <laughs> so seven, if you can imagine with me, this the K actually has two sevens in it. There's one seven. Here's another seven. So two sevens make a K. So that's why two, that's why seven is going to be a K. Eight looks like an F actually in cursive. So F in cursive looks like this, right? So it kind of looks like an 8 there. So that's why 8 is an F. 9 looks like a P, but it's like a mirror image, right? So that's a 9. This is a P. All right, so mirror images, that's why it's a P. I'm just going to use P in this illustration. All right, so I've turned all the numbers into letters. And now we can try to make words out of them. So five is gonna be an L, three is gonna be M, K is gonna be the seven, it's gonna be the F, and then M is three, three is M, seven is K, three is M, one is T, six is J, six is J, three is M, 1.0, so one and zero is T, S. 6 is J, 1.2, 1 and 2 are T and N, 2, 2 and 2 are N and N, 2 and 5 are 2 and L, um, 9 is a P, 3 is an M, 9 is a P, 5 is an L, 9 is a P, and then 1.0 is a T and S, 1, 0, T, S. All right. So let's turn these into pictures. So here we see a lazy man, L, M. So lazy man. All right. So the, the mandible is growing in that direction in a lazy man rate. And then the maxilla is growing forward in a kangaroo rate. 
So that's a 0.7 millimeters per year. The mandible is growing forward at a 0.8 millimeters per year, which is a fungal rate. So imagine some fungus growing on your, your, your chin, mandible growing forward. Kangaroo, maybe you can imagine like a kangaroo kicking its neighbor on the ANS. But this is like the whole maxilla going forward. And then a lazy man just sitting on top of the condyle up here, you know, just chilling. Just letting the con letting the mandible grow. And then going into the rest of this. So the orbitale modifies up and back. So that's going to be 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So that's an M and M, right? So just imagine like an M and M resting on that like orbitale or just right underneath your eyes, there's an M and M. It's actually easier if you imagine this on yourself. So here the ANS point is going forward and downward at a 1.0.1 millimeter and 0 0.6 millimeter rate. And so that's gonna be a T and J, so Trader Joe's TJ. And then this a point is remodeling or growing downward. And so that is 0 0.6 millimeters per year. So that's a J. So my name's Jenny. This is me. <laughs> or if you don't want to imagine me, then you could just imagine some jelly on the A point. Or you can you you, you can imagine Jenny on the A point too, growing downward. All right. So here, let's actually jump to the posterior maxilla. So the PNS goes backward and downward um, at a rate of 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 millimeters, and that's going to be a K and M. So here I was thinking of Korean male, and I was thinking of who do we all know that is a Korean male. So I was thinking of Dr. Moon. So Dr. Moon is going to be the Korean male that um, symbolizes how the PNS grows. And then here... The incisor is is erupting downward and it's also moving forward. So it's gonna be a 0 0.3 millimeter per year, 1.0 millimeter per year extrusion. So that's MTS. So uh, here's a picture of mountains, MTS mountains. So you can kind of imagine the incisor being like a little mountain. And since there's two incisors, it's gonna be mountains plural. So you can imagine that. And then the molar actually grows, uh, goes forward 0 0.6 millimeters and then erupts 1.2 millimeters per year. And so it's JTN. So what came up when I put in JTN in Google? Jewish Television Network. So you can imagine like a TV on the upper six and it's of Jewish people and how their days are going, JTN. And then the lower incisor erupts and goes forward at 0 0.9 millimeters per year, 0 0.3 millimeters per year. So that's gonna be a PM. Here's Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, the probably the youngest and best looking prime minister the world has ever seen. So that's going to be a prime minister for you. You can imagine him kind of just standing on this incisor, riding some kind of wave maybe, who knows. And then the lower molar is a P and an L erupting and going forward. So I was thinking of the McDonald's Playhouse, P-L-A-Y. So yeah, so I was thinking of like a little Carrie's pit inside of the lower molar and how bacteria are playing, P-L, inside this McDonald's Playhouse, inside this little little pit. Uh, and then, let's go down here. The gonial angle, or this region at least, 
goes backward and then upward apparently. Uh, and so it is 1.0 T S and then 0 0.9 P. So it's going to P T S. So when I said P T S, I thought of Dr. Pitts. And so he's going to be, you know, just chilling at the bottom of the, uh, the, the gonial angle, just uh, holding his rectangular or square brackets and uh, doing his his smile protection bonding and then the condyle it grows upward and apparently it grows upward at a rate of 2.2 .2 and 2.5 uh, depending on if they're a girl or if they're a guy so for the girls it's gonna be nanny and so here you can actually see Jessica Alba and her daughter's name, Nanny. So it's going to be Nanny. So that's 2.2. .2. And 2.5 is going to be two, the NL. And so here you can see a, a guy with a NOLA. So NOLA, yep, so guys grow upward at 2.5 millimeters per year. All right, so this is how I've memorized everything. It's pretty surprising how much you will still remember from just this one time I'm going through it but you should still read the article so that you know what all these numbers mean. But I hope this was helpful and I will see you in a later video. Thanks, bye.